Today we're going to talk you through the best shoes and strategies to ease your perineal tendonitis pain. I'm James, an e-foot and ankle specialist, and I've spent the last 10 years advising patients on the best footwear to wear for pain relief. In today's video, we're going to talk you through our two recommended shoes, the Hoka Clifton 9 and the Asics Jalkeano 30. We're going to talk through the benefits of each shoe and how they can help different foot types. After that, we're going to give you our three-step strategy to easing your perineal tendonitis pain alongside the shoes that we recommend. So first up is the Hoka Clifton 9. As you can see, it's got a thick midsole. It's got a heel drop from the back to the front of the shoe of five millimeters. It's super light despite a thick midsole. It's what we'd call a traditional neutral shoe, which means that the back of the shoe is completely level. It doesn't have a tilt on one side or the other. In terms of what features are helpful for perineal tendonitis, if you've got a normal arch type or a high arch, wearing a neutral trainer means that you don't excessively load the perineal tendonitis on the outer side of the ankle. The low heel drop means that there's an even distribution of force across the foot. The hocker shoes are known for their comfort, so the extra thick midsole provides nice responsive cushioning, so it doesn't allow your foot to sink too much, which can often happen with a thick midsole, meaning that your foot wobbles side to side. This is a nice relatively stiff and responsive trainer. It's a shoe that we'd recommend for walking and for running. If you run it gives a little bit of feedback which is really nice while holding your ankle stable. At the same time it can be used for everyday wear and it's one of the shoes that we recommend most to our patients. In contrast, the Asics Gel Keano 30 is more of a stability issue, so it tries to stabilize the foot to reduce its movement side to side. It has a 4D guidance system, which has a little bit of a thicker sole on the inner aspect, so it tries to reduce the amount that the foot falls inward or moves excessively inward as you walk or run. This can be especially helpful for those of you who have an unstable ankle, so if you're someone who's repetitively sprained their ankle or rolled their ankle walking down the street, a stable shoe can be more helpful than a neutral shoe. It has a 10 millimeter heel drop, so the difference from the back to the front. That can just elevate the heel slightly, taking the pressure off the perineal tendons and can be really useful for giving pain relief. It is a slightly heavier shoe than the Clifton 9, but considering the amount of stability that it packs in, it's quite a light shoe overall. So, taking everything into consideration, if you've got a neutral stable foot, we'd recommend the Clifton 9. If you've got a foot that's a little bit unstable, needs a little bit of extra support, then we'd recommend the Asics Gel Keano 30. Perineal tendonitis is an overload of the perineal tendons, typically caused by biomechanics or sudden increase in load. So one of the key factors that you need to keep in mind when managing this condition is stabilizing your step count. Normally it's okay to continue running, but think about your cumulative steps over the course of a week. If you're getting spikes in pain, it's normally related to the amount of steps that you're doing, so try and keep that consistent throughout the week. Perineal tendonitis loading via strengthening and stretching exercises is one of the key aspects of treatment for this condition. It should be combined with your shoes and modifying your step count. We have some information on exercise that you can do to help you in the description below. Finally, in severe cases, we'd recommend perineal tendonitis taping. Taping helps by turning your ankle slightly outwards, taking the pressure off the perineal tendon and reducing your pain overall. We'd recommend this for patients who have severe symptoms, who can't walk without getting pain immediately or in the acute phases of the condition. So overall, we'd recommend stability shoe or neutral shoe combined with perineal tendonitis strengthening, taping in the acute phases and trying to manage your step count overall while you rehabilitate the tendon. If you found the video helpful, please comment below, like and subscribe to the channel and we hope to see you again soon.